Alright, welcome to Best Untype, Best Nikai, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea. I've done this intro like four or five times already. Okay, so we are taking a bunch of modded guns from Ravenfield, and we're taking them by their family or their class, you know, whatever type of weapon they are. You know, the 1911s, the M4s, the AKs, you know, that kind of shit. And we're seeing which mod maker makes the best one. So, uh, Vlad, go ahead and put up here on screen the mod maker's name. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Sorry about that. But go ahead and put that up on screen. And this guy made the mod. This is a Colt 1902. We're starting with the 1911s because, let's just be honest with ourselves, you know, I have class. Um, the 1911s actually started with the Model 1900, which there are no Model 1900s. But the 1902... It's basically a Model 1900, just a few s different upgrades to it, or different modifications. Basically the same gun. Um, this is a military model. You can tell because it has the lanyard. A little sling mount. Um, so yeah. This one looks kind of like the Mexican model, but I'll give more on my opinions later. Uh, so, I guess the next thing that we need to talk about here is uh, what type of gun this is. Because... You know, you may not know about the 1900. There's, it's not as, I guess it's not, you know, as popular as the 1911s. So, yeah, um, the 1900 is where it all began, uh, to make a military pistol. And semi-automatic self-loading military pistol. And it was a collaboration between Hugo Borchardt and George Luger. Uh, you probably know them from their respective works. Hugo Borchardt made the Borchardt C93, one of the first mass-produced pistols to come to the market. He also designed the Sharps Borchardt Model 1878 rifle, which is a falling block open breech rifle. Um, and then George Luger, with his fucking toggle lock fetish, uh, he made the Luger P08 pistol uh, with the little toggle on it, and he also made the Luger 1906 rifle, or I think it's just a patent. I don't think the rifle was ever made. It's just a patent. But it has this toggle lock. Um, John Browning teamed up with these three guys and made the 1900. And uh, I believe the 38 ACP started with the 1900. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I really should have looked into that. Uh, ACP stands for Automatic Colt Pistol. There's 38 ACP, 25 ACP, uh, 45 ACP as we all know. The Lord's Caliber. 380 ACP which is basically kind of like 38 ACP. So yeah, um, the pistol itself is a short blowback operating system. So that means the bolt and the barrel travel a shorter distance when the gun recoils. So we can see that if I do slow-mo. Watch. You can kind of see the barrel move just a little bit. It just moves a little bit, then stops, but the nurse is enough to kick the bolt back. Where it cycles, unloads, reload. You can also tell it's hammer fired. Um, the action of the sight hitting the hammer, you know, cocks it. Pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. A couple other things to note. It has an 8 round magazine capacity. And it weighs about 37 ounces. Or for us burger eating fat fucks, about 2.31 pounds or about 5 Big Macs. So yeah. It's a pretty nice little pistol. It's not the most compact. It has pretty shitty iron sights. I don't like these sights at all. Um... So yeah, uh, a few other notes, uh, the Mexican government ordered the 1902s, and they had these, like, mother of pearl grips, these beautiful white pearl grips, they're amazing. It's like, it's got this really nice sheen, they're beautiful guns, but kind of sending the stereotype, they're not gonna lie. Uh, the fucking gunslinger stereotype. So, I guess we might as well get started here with this first range, uh, see how this goes. So, um, so yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see here. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this gun shoots. Uh, I've actually shot it multiple times and I have a pretty good idea of how this functions. I've done this multiple times, so let's just go ahead and see. So we want to hit, we want to try to hit red. That's the highest score. So let's go ahead and do this. So far, you know, it's a little snappy. Pretty easy to get lined back up, but it's not that bad of a gun. 
Uh, the recoil is actually pretty nice, pretty controllable. I don't know how realistic that is. Um, it's pretty easy, very controllable. Okay, got the guy on the shoulder. Oh, fuck, I missed that one. I was kind of anticipating a little bit more there. Okay, so it's not that bad of a gun to use. Put two in the head. Come over here. Two to the head. Okay, so it's not that bad. Um, the recoil is pretty controllable. Uh, it's actually really controllable. Not gonna lie. Uh, so yeah, I do. I do like the recoil. It's not that bad. You know, it's pretty easy to get some shots off. Uh, so let's keep kind of going here with this one. Uh, all right, here we go. Okay, get three shots off on that guy. Two shots there. One to the head. Ooh, that's close. We were kind of pulling that one in a little bit. A little bit tight. Okay, so that was not that bad. Um, could be a little bit better on the controls, but it functions pretty damn well. I would go ahead and tally up the scores, and we'll discuss all this after everything's said and done. But I will see y'all on range number two. Alright, here we go. So, let's go ahead and do this. Put through there. Got one more shot. Damn it. Okay, that was a little bit rough. You know, a little bit rough, but... You know, we, we make it work. I am kind of dragging my mouse a little bit too hard here, so it's not... Actually, it's not the best. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Shit. I missed one. Okay, I missed two. That was really nice of me. This is gonna fucking suck. Put it down... Okay, so we got that. It's a little easier to see the target. These sights are not that good. Give me one more shot. Oh, it's really hard to see. Yeah, once you reload, you kind of pick your uh, sights back up, so... Oh, boy. I'm trying to line this bitch back up. Okay, I think I got it. That one I'm most worried about. Uh, this one is not going to be fun. Can we actually... Okay, well. I speak and I fuck. Kind of goes off to the side a little bit. Let's go check out uh, the downrange. Let's just see how that was. I don't have a good feeling about this. Okay, so... Crouched. We got a pretty good group in crouched. That's actually really good. Prone is probably one of the best that we've got, and then standing, we actually did pretty good standing, actually. This guy's got pretty good groupings, not gonna lie. Um, I'm very surprised at how well these groupings are, but we're gonna find out here how, you know, see if we are doing any better. Um, yeah. Alright. See y'all range number three. Alright. Here we are in section three. Um, so, let me just go over everything so we know what's going on here. Uh, this is a damage test. So we want to see how many shots it takes to spin the target halfway or all the way around. And we want to do, I think, f ten groupings of this. And we're going to average out the number of hits. So I have the mass sheet already pulled up. Then we come over this way. Let's hop out the counter. Hop over here. So we have another long range test. Um, headshots are five points, center mass. So if it's like near the heart or the lugs, actually the heart's kind of like in, in this kind of area. Basically, you think of this area or up here is five points, everything else is one point. And we're gonna start here from this bench. We're gonna hit these two. 
So the, f the closest ones to us. We're going to turn around. We're going to run. We're going to reload. We're going to use this for cover. And then we're going to hit the two flanking ones. Then we're going to run all the way to the back wall. Take cover. Get up. And hit the middle. So that's that. That's going to be a painful one. Um, that's gonna be real difficult. Not gonna lie with you, fam. And then we have the speed targets. We want to hit three, so we're gonna get to three, 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 three. So three across all of these, and then we're gonna average them to get the final score. And then we have the fucking bottles. This is not gonna be fun. Uh, we want to see how many bottles we can hit, and I am not looking forward to this one. Um, so yeah. So, we want to just see how many bottles that we can knock over. Um, I have the numbers for how many bottles there are. So we can basically count how many we see on the ground, and then we're going to get the total that are standing up. So, we will know. And we have a clever way to get the score. So it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, so yeah, I do not look forward to this. Here we go, guys. Alright, are we ready? We're gonna do five. One, two, three, four, five. It took fuck, five, six, seven, eight shots. Oh, that's not good. This is not good. Give me one second. That was eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's gonna take nine. Nine, ten shots. That's not good. This thing's a fucking pea shooter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. This is not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that's also going to be eight. That's not good. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's nine. We're gonna get something that's safe, that's barely moving the target. Back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again. Not good. Yeah, not good at all. Okay, we gotta do two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. We gotta do one more target. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. That's not good. 12.50 on our score. Um, we're gonna see here. So that's eight, six, ten, ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And instead of average, our hits are going to be the sum of this. One minute. So 80 hits. Uh, we probably missed a couple, but whatever. That's how many shots we fired at least. Okay, let's move over this way. Oh, if that was anything to go by. This is not going to be good. Two shots on the first two. I know three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can move back. Take cover. Heal over. One, two, three. I'm trying to do headshots. Trying to get the highest score. One, two, three. That's not good. Let's see. One, two, three. Alright, let's go ahead and see what that's like. 
I don't know, man. This looks rough. I think this is gonna be one of the rougher sections for us with the with the pistols. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so we ooh, okay, so we got a couple center masks. Ooh, we got a good headshot there. Uh, these are all body shots. One to the head. No, two to the head. One missed. This is a fucking accurate pistol. Holy shit, this gun is accurate. <laughs> I'm surprised. I am like genuinely shocked at how well this is going. Like how it's holding up. Slice, one, two, three. Oh shit, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, that's not good. Three. One, two. Th oh, we need one more. We need one more. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think that was actually four that we hit, but okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Alright, so we have... We're going to do five magazines. So we're just going to start trying to put these down as quickly as we can. Because this is one. Okay, we're doing two. This is our second mag. Okay, we're on our third. We're not doing so good with the bottles. This is our fourth. Okay, we're not doing good at all. That's five. Alright. So, that was quite difficult. Um. Alright, well, I want to go ahead and tally everything up, and I will see y'all here on the next range. Alright, so... We're moving on to range number four. This is going to be a little bit tough. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Reload real quick. Three shots off. <clears throat> All right. Shots. Shots. Oh boy. Reload. Get another round in. Let's reload. This one. Barely got him. Alright, so what we want to do is we're going to run down. They're gonna pop up, we're gonna take cover. So we run down, they pop up, head back up, and we shoot them from up here. Click, and finish one off. Try to. And that's it. That's pretty fast. Um, this is pretty easy with a pistol, but I don't know how I feel about this. Let's double check that guy. So, these guys are all looking pretty fucked up. Did pretty good. Good groupings. That's pretty good there. Um, these guys are definitely down. The guy at the top of the stair was a little tricky, but you know, we got him. I really want to know about the civilian though. So we barely got that guy. This guy's fine. We missed a lot of shots though. That's just sort of the nature of this is just fucking fire and forget. I think we did pretty good down here. Uh, I think next time we're going to kind of do it from about this stair here. Leaning over or crouching, leaning over, something like that. But, you know, that'll be for a future reference. Alright, I will see y'all in the final range. Alright, and here is the final test. The absolute final test, I should say. Um, I have it wrong in my notes. We're not starting at the 10 meter mark. We're actually starting at... Let's see, we're kind of starting at the 20 mark. Kind of moving our way down. Yeah, we're gonna see how this pistol does. We're gonna, we're gonna start at the 35. That's 35 meters makes sense. Then we're gonna move. Now we're gonna do. Okay, actually, no, it's different for pistols. Pistols start at 10. Rifles start at the 35. Okay, I remember now. 
Because if it was just rifles in this, uh, they would get way high, way, way too high score. So, hopefully, this is eventful. Let's start off with 10 meters. This should be pretty fucking easy. Oh, just line this up. Kind of off. Let's see, one more. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good grouping there. Uh, we want to just kind of keep it here, doing the same. Hold on one second. Okay. That's too high. And we are kind of hitting high. Uh, it's probably my fault. Okay. It's not too bad, though. We're actually getting kind of, you know, lower down on the, the target. Uh, let's stop that. Pulling it on, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Oh boy, now we're kind of struggling to find it. Blue dot. Okay, this is a little tough. Just a little. Move it on over. Come on, Vlad, you can do this. Okay, hold on. I am going insane. Let's just let's just do this. Hold on, let me turn this down. Okay, it's a little better. That's three shots. That's four. That's five. Okay, so we have a little bit of a mess up there, but you know, we all make mistakes. Try and get this up a little bit. Two, three, five. That's actually really good. So once you actually kind of figure out where you're going, so this kind of started to drop off a little bit, so we're gonna aim a little high. We hit a little bit to the side there. That missed. Yeah, that was actually a really good shot. That's uh, a total of five. Okay, so we kind of that started. Uh, we're starting to see some uh, accuracy issues here. That's one, two, three, four. So that's five. Let's do six. Hundred meters. Can we do it? Oh, we hit it. Okay, so that's this is pretty respectable grouping. Um, one hundred fifty. I'm really pushing through. Got a hit. Got a miss. Let's try and pick it up a little bit. Probably not gonna hit. Miss. Just ever so slightly. Miss. Miss. So we got four more shots. Let's try and put all four down here. Miss. Miss. It's tough. Oh, we got two shots on. Okay. That was a little tricky. All right. So we're going to go ahead and calculate this. Um, and then we're going to see you in the spreadsheet. And we're going to see how this kind of stacks up. All right. We're taking a look at the 1902, and it's a pretty good pistol all around. It's quite a good pistol. It's uh, a little bit hard to control, or it's not that hard to control. Uh, recoil is actually really light on it, which makes sense. Uh, it did pretty well in the range tests, which was quite impressive.
Overall, this is actually a really good uh, weapon to use. It's uh, quite snappy, quick to fire, but it works quite well, and you know what? It's a really good gun. Uh, it's easy to control. The score, it got pretty good score all around, with our lowest score being on range 4. Uh, our highest score was on the long range, on range number 5, where we got a score of 133, uh, which is quite impressive. To say the least, this is a very good gun. Um, it does take a couple of shots to kill, but it takes like two or three body shots to take down an opponent. Uh, so it's actually pretty good, you know, pretty good weapon all around. Uh, it's quite nice to use. The iron sights are really nice. Again, just very little recoil. It's pretty accurate. It's decent accurate, you know, for what it needs to do. Uh, main problem is it does take a couple of shots to put someone down. Um, but... You know, it works. It does what it needs to do, and that's what you really need out of a sidearm is, you know, fall back on it. Uh, the damage could be boosted a little bit, because it takes quite a bit of shots. Of course, you know, a headshot's going to kill them instantly, but it's one of those guns that's uh, quite hard to use. It does take a lot more to kill an NPC than you think it would. But, you know, it's a good pistol. All, all fairness... Pistol's quite nice. It works pretty well. It looks pretty nice. Uh, it looks a little bit too much like a 1911. Um, probably because it's based on the 1902, the Spanish one, that is used, or the Mexican version, but aside from that, 1902 is quite a nice pistol. You know, it's really good, really fast. It's not the most accurate, but it's also not the least accurate pistol. It's going to get the job done quite well. As long as you're able to, uh, you know, make some quick follow-up shots, it's quite a good pistol. And there's really not much else to say about it. Pistol just works. It's quite nice, quite effective. You can hit very, very quickly with it. That's all you need out of it. Um, some of the other range scores, you know, the first range, 100, 100.50. Second range, 127. Range 3, 116, range 4, 95, and range 5, uh, 133. So, the pistol's quite well. It works very fucking well. So, I honestly don't have much to add. It's just quite a nice pistol. Works quite well. And, yeah. Honestly, 1902 is all around a decent pistol. Uh, it needs more stopping power, but aside from that, A-OK. -okay. So, that's that. We will be covering the 1903 and the 1903 Ruby next. And those are going to be fun. So, I'll look forward to seeing how that goes. See how the Ruby stacks up. And the 1903. Uh, I think it's the Pocket Hammerless is what we have. So, yeah. See you all in the next one.